So now I'm going to take you over to the manage section. So the manage section is where you're going to manage everything related to your employees. Clicking employees here. When you are initially coming onto seven shifts, our team can provide you the ability to upload your employees for you and recreate a schedule for you in seven shifts based on what you're, how the, based on the way that you're currently scheduling. But if you have a small staff and you just like to add them one by one or on an ongoing basis, you would just click this green add button to add a new employee. The most important pieces of information are first name, last name, email address so that they're able to log into their account and mobile phone number so that they can get SMS text messages. Now I should note that the default notifications for every user within the account are SMS text and email. You can come and manage your notifications by going to my account. And once you have the mobile app installed and choose push notifications, those push notifications will override the SMS texts. Now heading back to the manage section and employees, I'll just open up an existing account here. So you can see uh, the level of hierarchy within seven shifts. As I mentioned, I'm currently logged in as an admin, so I have access to edit everything and everyone. Now within each employee profile, you can manage the hierarchy. So it goes admins, managers, assistant managers, and employees. You cannot edit anybody on the same level as you. You can only edit people on the levels below you. So if we were to make Aaron here a manager, you can see that all of these manager permissions populate and you can really manage where you want that employee to have access. So if you had a key holder who you just needed to run a report at the end of the night, you could just have that permission available and that's all that they would be able to do above an employee. However, making an employee a manager does give them access to the manager logbook, even if they have zero permissions checked. You can also invite your employee to seven shifts by clicking this button. If you, for some reason, have an employee who's having troubles logging in, you can always come back here and re-invite them, which will send them a new temporary password for them to be able to log in, which they can go to my account and change after. So that's the basic info 